What's up, my peeps? It's us boys, and welcome to the first episode of Podcrastination with uh, me and our co-host, the dizziest guy, because he never stopped spinning. He's right here. His name is he's dizzy, just dizzy. Hey guys. Uh, we are. Well, I specifically started to do this because I forced him into doing. Well, I don't. Dizzy, what's your opinion on starting this podcast? Uh, let's just do it because I'm having a fun time. Even though we just started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't complain. Okay, so before we, I before I even called Dizzy on Discord, um. I showed him a picture of my lovely Warframe frame. It's Mesa because I'm a horrible yeehaw. And then I basically complained how I you can't fucking shove any of your stuff from like console to PC, but you can do it vice versa. And that's Microsoft's fault. And I'm uns- I'm very unhappy about that because Microsoft is mean. I mean, for me, yes, I played since first launch, and I'm not lying. I was got very far. I don't remember all the shit I had. I too um, did that. But no, I logged on about a year ago, and uh, to find out my account has been re- wiped, I had to start all over. I'm currently back in the very beginning using Excalibur again. Um, the initial release for this was back in 2014, or was it 2012? Uh, I think it was 2012. Oh, it was 2013. It was uh, 2013. It was neither. Jeez, you lied uh, to yourself. I swear this was... Re- hey, funny enough, it was released in the month of my birthday. <laughs> Yo, that's pretty fantastic. Oh, uh, I started playing on first release after I turned 12. Ah, uh, bro. No. I played it on Steam when they had Excalibur. They had Proto Excalibur, which is a skin now for Excalibur. And I was like, wow! I played I was young. before release was ever mentioned this game. Like, it was never mentioned on Steam until like a year or two later. Yeah, I played on Steam. So I guess I didn't play it first release. I played first I played first release, release on Steam. That's what I, I did. I played first release when the game first came out. Technically. I lost all my stuff. Technically, I did play first release because it was first release on Steam. I played first release of the game. But yeah, uh, I logged on, all my stuff wiped. It made me sad, but it's understandable. And it's stupid, because it's Microsoft's fault that I can't port my stuff over to PC. Stupid Microsoft. Let me, let me uh, put this uh, switch into sleep mode real quick. Uh, oh, I... Uh, Jesus Christ, did you fall out of your chair and die? No, I almost slipped. Oh, Ugh. Well, that's dangerous. But, uh, you want to know what the slide... Oh, I think it's dead. Did it die? Or are you dead? Okay, that's in sleep mm, mode now. Is this dead? Uh, did it fall asleep while it was just sitting here doing nothing? Bro, um, uh, what, what's going on? On Amazon? No, it's still alive. I wonder if you can hear it because it has a giant speaker. Um, what am I, I have. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it died. I left it, I left it alone too long. Wait, your Switch? No, I don't have a Switch, sadly. I have a PlayStation 3 and an Xbox One, but I have this old green slide phone from like the early 2000s. Oh my god. And I recently bought a charge, well not recently, like weeks ago. I bought a charger for it on Amazon for like four bucks. Charge it, it's perfectly fine, everything's good. If I wanted to, I could probably put it on a plane and then call people on it, but who would do that? But it was my dad's originally, and there's old pictures of it or of it, on it, and most of them are from my dad, some of them from me, because I was like, oh, take pictures of shit, blah, 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 blah. and then, um, there's one song on it, take a, I, my dad is a lovely, no, I wouldn't say lovely, he's, he's rather mean sometimes to random people, because he doesn't like people, but he likes more, like, hard music, not like dubstep or stuff, but like he likes mostly guitar rock and stuff. But take oh, a guess metal. on what the, the one song on it is. It's not like hard metal, but like he does like metal. Take one oh. guess of what the song is. There's no way I'm going to guess it. I, take I, take I, a wild guess. Is it a Guns N' Roses? No, I like Guns N' Roses. He doesn't really like Guns N' Roses too much. Oh, what about, um, geez, uh, what's God? Power Wolf, there it is. Uh, I don't know if he likes Power Wolf. I don't know if he's ever heard Power Wolf. Bro, okay, look up one of their songs later on. 
I think you had me listen to Power Wolf or Xander yeah, did made, when, I you know. Made, yeah, I made you listen to one of their songs. He's a little sweaty. Fuck. Oh, I was outside. Ugh. Uh, My room is all hot right now. Yes, tell, tell, tell the lovely listeners why you are in pain, good sir. I got pain going through my whole left leg because uh, while I've been offline for the few past two days, um, I, oh yeah, well, in the middle of these past two days, I accidentally butt called him via Discord. Yes, somehow, magically just called everyone on the fucking group, and then me, I answered, and then Ty answered. You guys know Ty from the Warhammer 40k videos. That there are like three of in uh, another video, I'm pretty sure. But continue your lovely story, Dizzy. But yeah, somehow I butt dialed him on Discord. But besides that, uh, I got pain running through my leg because I ended up stubbing my toe like five times over this two days. My whole foot's in pain, and I got pain shooting through my leg because I think I pinched the nerve. Ah, uh, that's really shitty. Yeah, but oh well. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I mean, you can always just tear down the walls or take apart whatever you stub your toe on, but that's kind um, of expensive and dangerous. Well, it's not my property either. <laughs> uh, you could always just ask. Ask really kindly, and they'll probably go, yeah. Hey, can I put a hammer through this chair? Can I put a hammer through your bed? Can I take that axe to your wall? Can I just destroy your whole house and livelihood? Oh, yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Oh, well, thanks, Dizzy was just wondering. Oh, yeah, but I don't really care. I got another house. If I was given the okay to demolish a place and there was nothing nearby, I'm running through that house with a jerry can. I would just take all my anger out and everything. Not with a jerry can, but like a sledgehammer. So. Oh yeah, this reminds me of a story. I've actually destroyed a building doing nothing but with a sledgehammer and a pickaxe. This was if In real life. Ago. Yes, real life. What was the building? A shed? You know, a house. It was an old like storage building. Ah. Uh, so a big warehouse or but like a small warehouse? Say it used to be a building, like a house, but it was oh. just taken over by clutter. And so me and my brother just went out there. Like one floor out. or two floors? One floor, but it's massive. Ah. Uh. So we went out. We destroyed every wall. Like, just gone through. Inside and out. Going completely through walls. With a hammer. And using the, the pickaxe to take down the support beams. We ended up destroying... So I don't know. Quite a lot of stuff when the roof caved in. <laughs> Was there anything worth taking? Probably not, because it's probably snake infested. Ah, snakes. My favorite spy. Ah, even better. <laughs> yeah. Death on a whim. I sure do love those reptiles that let us slink around and then bite me and kill me. Uh, Jehovah. Jehovah's Witnesses? Wait. Wait. That's Wait. right, Warframe's on the Switch. I'm an idiot. Uh, don't oh yeah, mind. Warframe is on the Switch. If only I had the internet. If only I could use my modem router to connect my laptop into the etherwebs, and then I'd be able to not have any po possibilities of losing ping. But if no. If only I was... not dead inside. If only Pac wasn't on a boat, because he's on a boat. If only I was a lizard. I bet you didn't actually know Pac was on a boat right now. Why is Pac on a boat right now? I have no clue. He j I, I called him, basically just like, what are you doing? And I completely forgot he was on a boat on vacation or whatever. And he just goes, I'm on a boat playing my Switch. And I'm like, oh! Okay, and he said that on like Friday or something, or maybe it's today, that they were gonna have a Switch tournament for Smash, and I'm just like, all right, boat noises. See, I wouldn't want to no be way, on a boat. Brother. Yeah, but like, I would, I, I, I guess maybe he won't. Maybe you should ask him. Just go into the group, and go. All right, Discord name. 
But Ooh. if he's on vacation, I don't want to disturb him. I mean, I called him. He didn't seem too disturbed. You could totally message him. Right now. Do it. Mm. It won't okay. It won't be too much of a worry. You know, the biggest problem that would be happening is, like, he doesn't answer. Unless, like, he's about to die, and that's the last thing to message him. But he's, he's probably not about to die. I mean, this is Pack we're talking about. It's not like he has motor-powered skateboards he built himself that have no brakes or anything. Oh, man. Also, uh, getting completely off what we were talking about with Pack, uh, unless he does have one of these, but you saw the picture. You saw the picture that I was showing you. It's the, uh, it's this, this Mustang. There was a, a white one. Now, I was oh, yeah. walking to pay a bill, or no, I was walking to, I was having a date with Subway because it was early in the morning when I just woke up. But, uh, this, like, one of these Mustangs, it's one of the old 60s ones, if anyone is wondering. But, uh, an old 60s one, just driving down the road, I'm like, that's a fucking old Mustang. And then, you know, I talked to my dad, and he's like, I don't really like those years because they're not the fastbacks. And I'm like, yeah, but how often do you see a fucking Mustang that e year driving down the fucking road? And, of course, he goes, no, not often. Of course, I didn't say that many fuckings. That's the third <laughs> one, of course. I don't, I don't say fucking too much in real life. Or do you? Uh, I don't know. Do I? I don't know. Do you? I mean, I talk to you, Dizzy. You should know this. Yeah, you say a lot of fucking. Yeah, I say it. I say it uh, on a, not a regular occasion. I don't say it too often in calls, but overall, throughout the whole time you've known me, I probably said a lot of fuckings. Yeah, you've said a lot of fucking. So, uh, this lovely, this lovely painting that you see here hanging in front of you guys. Guess who painted it? Me or Dizzy? Neither. I commissioned Michelangelo to come back from the dead to paint <laughs> this for us. I gave him 42,000 yen, which is, um... 42,000... Yeah, yeah, uh, I gave him 387 American dollars and 11 cents. Or... If you want to go uh, to the the Greek monies, mon money. What is the Greek money? Uh, that is three hundred and forty-two euros and thirteen pence, or I don't know, is that pence? Or if I you're don't know. if you're looking at the the Fijian dollar, that's eight hundred and thirty Fijian dollars and forty-nine Fijian cents. Hmm. Or if you're looking at the Ugandan shillings, that's 1,450,499 and 31, or 0.31 Ugandan shillings. What is the sense in Uganda? Bro, who know? I mean, I don't know. Yo, can I look at North Korean money here? What does North Korea use? Do, do, do we know what, hold on, what money does North Korea use? What what mo what money does North Korea use? They, they use North Korean won. There's South Korean won and North Korean won. Which one has more? I I don't I don't know. Who won more? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're already in the puns. Uh, shut up! I try my best. Like, why? I don't know. How much- hold on, I love this Google question. How much does North Korea won? Huh? What do you mean? Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll never figure out how much 42,000 yen is in North Korean money. Rest in peace, uh, Captain- Captain Man who made the- the yen. Ripperoni, pepperoni. How- oh, ooh, Bitcoin. Oh, 42,000 yen is 0 0.051 Bitcoin. So anyone who's going out there to a uh, very, very good state of advice right now, don't try to turn 42,000 yen into Bitcoin, if you're wondering. Uh, funny story that's kind of related to uh, to Bitcoin. You know how on the, the deep web and the dark web, people are like, oh, there's a Bitcoin mine here, unlike how on the normal web there is. I don't, I don't know why they're southern, but, uh... Is it, 
Uh, Isn't it normally in the deep web where you find the Bitcoin mines and not on the dark web because the dark web is like murder and stuff? No, 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 no. Where do you go to find Bitcoin mines? Bitcoin mines are just something you make yourself. Well, you, I can. Okay, so there's different types of mining. Yes. Uh, you can do GPU mining and stuff like that, which I can do set up right now at my current place. Um, all you need is your a decent amount of uh. Well, it's been a while since I've done this. I thought it was all uh, RAM. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you can pull out the different types of uh, mining that can be done, because uh, what I tried to do one day was do a GPU mine, but eh, it didn't go well. I did actually make a small bit of profit, but it took way much longer than it needed to. But this was me being young and dumb, but yeah. What, what, what do you mean by young and dumb? Like, what 15 level? years old. But what do you mean, dumb? Do you mean that you, you got caught up in the police and they arrested you for for mining illegally in government-owned uh, property? Because Bitcoin you... mining is not illegal. I know, but like, you okay, could have so... but went out into your backyard and just mined. Okay, I found it, I found it. Okay, so you have your CPU slash GPU mining. Oh. So you use your computer CPU and GPU. Either or, you can set up mines to do that. Then you have FPGA Bitcoin miners, and then the ASIC Bitcoin miner. I see. So none of this is, you do it yourself. You don't just find it. You don't just find a lovely, a vein of Bitcoins and go, I've struck a gold! And then you take out your virtual pickaxe and mine virtual money. Well, basically what a Bitcoin miner does is solve algorithms. Oh, so I would be terrible at it because I can't solve algorithms for the life of me. Basically, it finds a random algorithm, which is like so long or like extremely long or extremely short ones. Basically, all it does is solve that. And once it solves it, you are rewarded. Oh. And it keeps going until you build up, build up until you have enough for actual currency. It's the same thing for uh, Litecoin. And stuff like that. I see. Also, is Bitcoin still an, a, a viable source of currency on Steam? Uh, I, I remember see. it being on there. I don't think it's on there. Let's see, what's the Bitcoin current price? Just two cents. 42 straw hats. Ah, geez, it's still almost $10,000. A single one. bean. Oh, yeah, back in March. Oh, let's see. The lowest Bitcoin has ever gotten was back in December... 15th. December 16th when Bitcoin was only worth $3,000 for wow. one. Wow! Now, right now, it's A just surprising Bitcoin. how when Bitcoin did almost reach that high point. Let's see, when... Let's see, if I go to... Well, while he's looking, I'm going to tell my lovely story of slightly relating to Bitcoin or whatever I was trying to segue onto. But with my with my two stroke segue that goes off roading. But I, when I was younger and had my other iPod that was blue and I loved it and now it's gone because I broke it or something. I'll say I'll explain that differently every single time. But I had a blue iPod. I downloaded Onion Browser because I hate myself and I had a VPN. I was on school Wi-Fi. And I was like oh. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. They can't they can't track specifically me. So I went on the deep web. I was like, what what things can I use on the deep web? I went to Wikipedia or whatever the hell the websites. I went onto the fucking Silk Road. I'm just like, hey, look. Drugs? And, like, I'm, I, of course, I don't have money to buy it. So I'm just like, oh, this is pretty cool. I'm delving deeper than anyone I know. And then I've never been back on it before. So that was my story. That's the number one secret of of me. Sean, hello, that's my secret. I mean, I've been on the deep web. I've gone pretty deep. Seen... Will the Silk Road be on deep web or dark web? Uh, deep. It would just be on the very basic level where you oh. buy drugs and and buy drugs, guns, child pornography, that sort of thing. That's the basic. No, the CP would be a lot deeper. 
Man. Well, at what point do you reach the dark web? Uh, the moment you find the right link. <laughs> How deep do you have to go to reach the dark web? Is what I'm trying to say. Like, murder? Uh, Hitmen? Like, I mean, it's not really like that, but murder, you can find that on the regular internet. Well, yeah, true. But, like, for, like, services like that, yes, you would need to dwell deep. Uh, but basically, like I said, you just find the right wiki with the right links, and you just go from there. So right uh, now, but you also got to be aware of uh, F- of like yeah, hot pots. Th- them them boys will track you down and arrest no, you. No, not hot pots, honey pots. My bad. Um, yeah, you gotta. So it's like it's them. like attracting. Well, hold on, honey pot as in like attracting flies or attracting bears. Like attracting flies. Basically, the if one of the links is like you know known and it's been taken down for a few weeks, then it comes back up. And it pops back up, and it could be but, like the government going oof. Go into, oh no, it's the it's basically someone. The, it's the site's been taken over, but they throw the website back up, but they change everything about it: pictures, faces, names, everything, and things that would be uncensored are censored, and that's when you know it's a honeypot. Um, but yeah, besides that, how did we get on the topic of, uh, Deep and Dark Web? Because I was, I went from Bitcoin with looking up 42,000 yen in American dollars to then Bitcoin, and then I went to my story on how I went to the Deep Web and on school Wi-Fi, and then, you know, we got to this. I mean... See, there's the... constant segues. That's how podcasts work. I mean... That's how my normal conversations the, go. Um, deep web is not illegal, uh, but the moment you buy something, that's when it gets illegal. Going there is not illegal, but the moment you go start to buy, that's so when it reaches illegal. If I go onto the service level of the deep web, and it's it's not buying drugs, it's not buying guns, it's not owning if child you're just pornography. you're snooping around, no, you're doing nothing illegal. You're but like just... the moment I buy something, like. I want to buy some really rare food that you pay like pay you pay like fourteen th- you pay at least like four hundred dollars for one bit of it in an American uh, restaurant. But I go onto the deep web and I could pay like fifty bucks for it being transported. So that I mean, would be illegal that's technically. That's not really how it works. Because well, I'm just saying as an example. The reason that food costs that much is because it's the Probably in quality. Probably like, it's the quality. What if I want to buy it at fucking Koala on the deep web? Would that be illegal? Yes, because, you know. It's a Koala. Yeah. It's having a good time it on its eucalyptus. It may in another area, but here you would not really eat that. Uh, I meant like buying an actual live Koala. Well, buying a lot- you can- well, I don't know if you can actually have a live Koala. I'll look it up. I have an internet right in front of me. Can I buy a live Can koala? I legally own a koala? Koala bear. It's illegal to keep a koala as a pet anywhere in the world. Not even Australians can own, own one. Ah, great. Can a koala kill you? Oh, yeah. disease. Is it illegal to hold a koala? It is illegal Maybe. for a zoo or sanctuary to allow a visitor to hold a koala. Well, fuck. Do koalas like to cuddle? Well, you found your answer. It's illegal to own one. Yeah. Uh, um. Is it illegal to buy? Because elephants, technically, you can't poach. Would it be illegal? Well, I mean, yeah, it'd be illegal. Um, would it be illegal? <laughs> I want to ask the question, but I already know my fucking answer. Is it illegal Bro. to buy an elephant tusk off the deep web? Bro, yes. What if... Is Hold on, is it illegal to own... If it's an ancestral item that one of your ancestors owned, would it be illegal to own an elephant tusk that one of your ancestors... It's been passed down through your family because it's illegal to poach, and that elephant was technically poached in the past. Would it be illegal to own that elephant tusk now? No, because it's... An heirloom. It's old. It's, it's old. Oh. It's been, it doesn't work with the system of the day. It's been Damn done it. in back in time, brother. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm stumbled up on my words. You're also very knowledgeable. Uh. 
that's good remember. knowledge. <laughs> remember, just holler. Just scream if you don't want to seem knowledgeable. Why am I so fucking sweaty? Why is this room so hot? Because you're a big, big, sexy man. Uh, I want to hear what you on that song. But not publicly. Publicly. No. You fuck your publicly. Whoa there. I'll, I'll fuck your publicly just like how that man fucked my ex-wife. And how my ex-wife fucked me over with the divorce that took the kids, the house, the car, all my money. Damn it, Karen. Her name isn't even Karen. Oh, uh, it's Judith. I'm sorry. I had to live in this fucking house for a long time. My dog fucking died last Tuesday. That was all I had left from the divorce. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. It's not funny. It's a divorce. This was a hard moment in my life. Listen, let's, let's just, let's forget about, never, just forget I brought up the divorce. Just forget it. Nothing, I never, never, just, it never, I never brought it up. He brought it up. I, no, don't, don't bring it up. No divorce happened. Never, don't bring it up. Never. It's supposed to be a good time. A family-friendly time, even though I said fuck, like, five times now. Bro. The moment you even began to say the word, this this has became unfamily friendly. Nothing I say is family friendly. True. Just look at all the views that were on those videos. Like three. The highest view count I have is on 120 something on that one video that I made that wasn't even that fucking good. Then next I think would be the after Halloween or special. I don't fucking know. Why am I talking about my views? Let's talk about our worldviews! What are your politics, Dizzy? I don't get into politics. Neither do I. Well, that was a good conversation. <laughs> are you sure I've never had a fucking Kinder Egg? I'm very positive I've never had one. That's really a shame. I could buy a, a Kinder Joy. Kinder, I think it's a Kinder Joy. But uh, I could buy a Kinder Joy from my local Walmart and just send it to you. Okay. I would need to know your address, which you can't say on live television, even though this isn't it's live television. It's one, two, three, fake street. You don't know what that sound is? That's a yo-yo. Nope, it's not a yo-yo. I don't know how to yo-yo. It's uh, a tiny friction motor in a Kinder Joy toy that I got. It's literally just a little race car that came with stickers, and it was two parts. And I need directions for two parts, obviously. There's a little friction motor part, and it has a little front part. And it's really nice. And it goes wee, and it smashes into my TV remote and sends its own directions flying. This is a really powerful friction motor. Oh no! No! F1 car man! He's dead! <laughs> boo hoo. Boo hoo hoo. You're a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, right? I've watched all of them. Gee, are you a fan? I like them. I too like them, but I've uh, uh, well. There's a reason that this is called the Podcast Nation. But you know how there's JoJo games, yes? Yeah, uh, For the PlayStation, because Xbox is trash. I've never played them, nor have I heard any of them. There's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, All Star Fighters. I got that for my PlayStation Three. It was like twenty bucks. I also got old Joe Joseph Joe Stark. For a dollar. And I also I got uh, Mrs. Lady. Lady. Uh, what's his face? What, what's her face? Uh, Joseph's mom. Wait. No. Oh, um... Lisa Lisa. I remember now. Her name is Lisa Lisa. I've got her for a dollar as well. It's a really fun game, albeit there is no difficulty, so it's always difficult. And uh, I don't know how to do moves that the AI does because I'm just really bad at it. But you know, I had Dio fight Dio, like Phantom Blood Dio fight Phantom Blood Dio in uh, in Dio's mansion. And how Dio two ended the fight was he ended a fucking he did a special 
kill on the other Dio and just fucking sent him out into the sky and he just fucking dissolved because the sun was out. That was fucking cool. I was like, this is bullshit. How do I do that? And, you know, I just was sad. Kind of like Mortal Kombat, but at the same time, it's a lot less intricate and like stuff like that. I don't like intricate. Oh. Even though I love Mortal Kombat. I mean, I like Mortal Kombat 9 the best. I've played 10. I haven't played 11. I have played 10. I own 10 for the Xbox. It, I usually play as Aaron Black, and I'm very good as Aaron Black. Uh, I've played 10. I, I think it's uh, it's an RA game, for, I'm not gonna lie. But for me I like 9. I like 9. 9 is really good. Because 9 just is more entertaining to me. 9 is also a very good game. 10, I think they were like, you know what, we're gonna bump up the difficulty on the story, and then we're also gonna give the middle finger to anyone who liked any other gameplay aspect. I mean, they bumped the graphics a whole lot, but, oh, you yeah, know. Don't get me wrong, the graphics look great. For its time, they're fucking fantastic, but then there's just, like, the new one, and I don't think the new one looks too good at all, because I think they look too realistic, and that's bad. <laughs> we're getting on the side of almost, is that murder, or... Hmm, CGI. Well, I mean, I'm fine with the murder and realism, but I, like, I think they too, look too realistic, so they look too squatty and ugly. I mean, I still like Johnny Cage. I I'm like my blood to be bright red. Listen, I know you're trying to go for realism, but I like them big titties. Them skimpy <laughs> outfits. I like my, my murder cop. Is murder cop man that I hate? Like, still in... Is he in Mortal Kombat 11? Or was the last which game he was one? in uh, Mortal Kombat 9? Which one are you talking about? He's like the cop, you? and everyone played him because they could shoot with him. Um... Uh... I am not sure. Uh... Future Sean. I know you don't edit, but insert the name here, even though you don't edit your videos. Yep, yeah, there it play. is. Right there. Maybe. He forgot <laughs> to edit it. I didn't forget to edit it. I never edit my videos. Why is it so fucking hot in this room? I'm gonna die. What's the temperature in this room? Ah. It's only 82. Ah. I mean, if it was 82, I'd be happy because, like, it's not 82. It's, like, 90. This room is fucking spicy. <laughs> this room is spicy. I mean, that's what I say when it's hot. Like, if it's hot outside, I'll go, like, it's fucking spicy out here. Or I'll just go, it's spicy out. And also, I don't like the sun. I'm a vampire. If I could trade places with my dad, I would happily be in the basement. The only thing I don't understand is, like, every time I go outside, I sneeze. My dad sneezes when he goes outside, but that's because the sun's really bright and his eyes don't function correctly, and they just fucking send signals to his brain, just like, hey, you should sneeze. Like, that's me. Like, I can be inside all day and never sneeze. The moment I step outside in the sunlight... <coughs> I'm blowing half a chew. Usually, what happens? What happens with me is I just squint a lot when I'm outside because the sun is fucking bright. And these glasses don't. Unlike my Oakleys, which are still broken, um, these glasses that I have that are new, they're Ray Bans. They uh, they go. Uh, Ray they don't. Oh, I don't have Ray Bans. What glasses do you have? Uh, let's see. I got two cheap pairs and then a uh, pair of the original KDs. Nice, but um. My, my, uh, they were trans something. They, they basically went from normal glasses to sunglasses. Transition. Yeah, transitions. Those are my Oakleys. These aren't transitions because I didn't really like them. Plus the chemicals in them were like, um, they said they were going to turn the frogs gay. And I didn't, I didn't really like that. The frogs gay. I didn't like that my glasses threatened me with turning the frogs gay. They also, eventually they stopped working. So all the chemicals died, but which means they can't turn the frogs gay, but you get what I'm saying. They don't turn from normal glasses to sunglasses. So I was yeah. like, you know what? That's unreliable. Plus, they also threaten the terms of frogs gay, and that's... We don't do that here. We don't turn frogs gay. I mean... What if you want gay frogs? Personally, I'm not against gay frogs. Or gay people. I'm just against my glasses threatening me and going like, we're gonna turn the frogs gay. I don't... I'm not okay with that. That's not cool. That's wrong, and I don't like it. Anyway, at your friend's house and you butt-dialed uh, the group, what were you doing? I was actually doing nothing. I was, uh, 
walking around and then I just hear you like, hey. I was like, oh. Dizzy? <laughs> I was like, what was that? And he like, dizzy. I was like, oh, that's me. Pull out my phone, like, bro, I didn't realize I joined a call. Wait, then you like, no, you called. I was like, what? Yeah, you fucking dialed us somehow. You must like, you must have that special ability where you can go fingers from any part of your body. Um, maybe. Are you hiding something from me, Dizzy? Are you hiding something from us? Even though it's the first episode? But no, all I did was sit down, stand up, and then I hear your you ones. I'm like, I didn't realize it was you. I thought it was someone else. I thought it was a radio at first. Yeah, a and ghost like, in the house. Then you like yelled louder, dizzy. I was like, dizzy. oh, that's me. Dizzy, help me! I'm dying. Eyes here as well. We're both dying. I mean, we weren't dying. It was just to get your attention. Yeah. Just like most people, I, I go, I'M DYING FOR ATTENTION! Ah! And then, you know, I actually fucking die because someone got fed up with me and shot me in the mouth. Ooh. Ooh, what? You got hiccups? You burping up them hot dogs? That you didn't have? Funny enough, I did have bratwurst earlier. Alright, uh, well, I bratwurst the same as hot dogs. Bro, it's food. I'm hungry. I, I do like food. Food is very good. I haven't... You know what? I've had... What have I had today? I had cereal. Uh, well, before I went to bed, before I went to big big sleeps, I had... I had some cereal. Uh, I didn't have cereal. In the morning, I had cereal. But, um... I had... If you wa if any of you watched... Or you dizzy. Um, if, any of, if anyone watched the update video that I sent out, uh, I had four slices of bait, or I had four, four slices. I had two bagels, both split in half, and I had cream cheese on it. They were blueberry bagels. They were really nice. But before before I had them, I had to, because they were in the freezer, I put them in the microwave for like 35 seconds. And then they were a little bit warm, so I was like, you know what, I'll just put these in the toaster. And of course I put them in the toaster. I burnt my fucking fingers. I toasted my fingers off by grabbing the toasted bagels. But they were very nice. I had those before I went to bed, and I was... I was pretty happy, and then I woke up and I had some cereal. Some cereal. Some cereal. I had some of that good old-fashioned uh, honey bunches of oats with strawberries that are very good. And that's all I've had today, besides two slices of freshly baked banana nut bread that my dad made, because my dad is a fucking baker or something. But, um... I have not fucking eaten anything besides then, and I'm very unhappy. Because, like, I'm, I'm that level of hungry where it's, I'm hungry, and I know I'm hungry, but at the same time, I don't feel hungry. My body isn't going, oh, we're hungry. No, nah, it's just going, eh, you could eat. I don't care. You have an experience like that, Dizzy? Yeah, I've had an experience like that every now and then. I have those experiences a lot because what happens during the summer? I'll tell you what happens during the summer. I like to sit around on my ass and be a lazy fuck. Yes, and I don't do jack shit. I usually don't eat. I don't drink. I don't sleep that much. And it's just like, I would have a games with the frames. And I barely use the bathroom because my body just goes, we're going to hibernate all of the things except for using your arms, your brain and breathing. We don't even blink that much. Sorry, friend. Your eyes are going to be dry. I'm sorry. Why are my eyes itch again? Brain I'm sorry. Uh, why are my I eyes raisins? Bro, why? <laughs> why are your eyes raisins? Oh, man. Um. Oh, yeah. Um. Right now, I have an MRE in my uh, bag. What flavor? It's a uh, beef brisket with gravy. That sounds fucking delicious. What, what are the Holy sides? Man. I already ate the side. God damn it. But it was, um, potatoes au gratin. Oh, I love potatoes au gratin. I used to get those from a truck that would go through, and they're, they're really good. My grandma would cook them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheesy slices uh, of potatoes. Let's see. The first one I had was a vegetarian taco pasta. Are you are you the new Steve MRE 1989? Oh, you watch him, too? Yes, I do watch him. Oh, bro, I found someone else who watches him. My dad watches them too, and then there's also the fact that I watch Ashens. <laughs> yes. 
Bro, have you seen the video of Ashens when he did the uh, 108 year old bottle of olives? Oh, oh, yeah, so they just come out little, like, slimy globs of nothingness. <laughs> and he has the latex gloves on, and he has to use the fork. Have you seen the one where, uh, he, uh, we're completely getting off the fact that we're YouTubers ourselves. But, um, we're not very, we're, we're, not, we're certainly too much. Um, but have we're, you seen the one where he had the, like, uh, 30-year-old? Like, they were spaghetti hoops. And, oh, um, seen that and the like fucking... They were from, on inside? yeah, uh, or, well, no, that was the, uh, that was the ketchup in the video, but the, uh, oh. I love how he turns the can upside down, and just goes, <laughs> and just the big cylinder of just spaghetti hoops and hardened tomato sauce. Uh, I don't remember which ones I've watched, but, um, I've watched quite a lot of his, like, um, dollar ones, like, the little cheap, crappy foods from, like, Cheap's dollar stores. <laughs> um, Did you me? <laughs> um, I heard yeah, that. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, my stomach's been messed up lately. Yeah, my stomach's always messed up because I have a high metabolism. So do I. So my I I described it today because I was talking to my dad in his car uh, yeah, while we were yeah, driving. My stomach hasn't been feeling well lately, so. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You need that, some Pepto Bismol. It's not like that. It's just upset um, not sitting well i ate so, too much so it's not how i'm upset when i find out that cyberpunk 2077 is going to be made in 2020 but it's upset like a uh, fucking feminist a feminazi discovering that she's being oppressed quote unquote oh here we go uh, let me move that with the map up oh, here we go um Shh. I'm not, I'm not sparking any arguments or anything. Also, you said Witcher 2 map. Did you pre-order the Witcher 2 and somehow get a map while I didn't? Uh, no, like, bro, this is the enhanced edition of Witcher 2. I don't even remember if I got the... Did, could you pre-order the enhanced edition? I think you could... Well, I think you could pre-order... No, if you like pre-order, you get everything. What I remember, I don't remember getting the map. I do remember getting the fucking comic book that I thought at the time I was young and I was like, this is really graphic. Uh, it's gross, but I like yeah, you it. You find out it's just trash. Well, I mean, it, I like the game. I mean, I don't like the oh, game, yeah, but I like the comic. Good. The comic was I've really good. I've never read. Oh, I, I do. Oh, actually, I already own the comics because I, I own. Funny enough, I have two copies now of the enhanced edition of The Witcher 2 for Xbox 360 and PC. Last comic I owned, I still own it, and it's glued into the uh, the Fall at New Vegas big book of knowledge. It's the Fall at New Vegas uh, comic that I fucking love. Let's see, I never got any of those. But the last, like, comic series I've read, which is not really a comic series, well, yeah, it is, uh, is Bone. Oh, I remember Bone. I read those during the school. I would, I would, uh, yeah. I would quote unquote, I'm... borrow from friends. I went and re-got me the whole series, and I'm re-reading them. Ah, oh, because I, I grew up with those. I drew, like, like when I was bored, I would just sketch out some of the characters. I remember the best drawing I ever made. The, well, no. Yes, no? Yeah, okay, um, hold on. Have I sent you... Have I have you seen any of the drawings besides besides the Wario and the Mario? Oh, Wait, what, what, what Mario and Wario? Uh, the um uh, there was there's. I don't think I've seen those. There's the I paint. Don't... There were paint. They're really old on a emulation on my Pentium laptop, which I mean, my bed. I can point in it right there. No one can see it. Um, but they were on the paint on a Windows XP emulator on my. I still have a Pentium oh, I laptop. I don't think I've seen them. I don't think I've There's seen the them. Wario that's going wah, and he's fat, and he's sweaty, and he's got a, a, a slight erection underneath the pants. And then there's also a Mario where he's fucking emaciated and he's on heroin. <laughs> well, you've seen some of the artwork I've done. Yes, you? you do relatively all right artwork compared to mine, which is just like, I try. You can see how I try. The example is our procrastination. That but, is my try. <laughs> I mean, right now, I had long hair. I recently had a haircut, so my hair's not that long no more. So I should just remove all that long hair right there. 
basically, well, for me now, it's already almost, my hair almost past my chin again. I'm probably yeah. going to keep it as this for a long while, and then go like, yeah, I'm going to yeah, need to redo fine. this. I mean, if you want, I could try my chances at drawing. That'll be later. Hair. Yeah. I'll eventually, eventually, I'll go like, you know what? I have money saved up. We need a new thing for podcrastination. I'm going to hire a real artist. Like, m me personally. Um, for like 13 bucks. Oh, man, I just forgot what I was thinking. Um, Big uh, brains. That's what you're thinking. Bro, big thunkin'. Big thunk. Yeah, the thunk too hard and forgot what I thunk. Um. Uh, it's yeah. the good silence. This is when you know that you don't know what to talk about. Because one of you is silent, the other one's going, um, and then silent. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot what I was going to talk about. It, it was there, but then I forgot. I love uh, it when that happens. That's my favorite moment, when my brain just goes and just deletes what I was trying to think of. Oh yeah, so when are we going to get back to Baldur's Gate and try not to die right off the bat? Shut up, it's not my fault. I chose a sorcerer. <laughs> but, uh... You chose probably... a sorcerer, and you got the worst rolls. Like, the worst... Or health. You have only four eight. Well, I mean, all like mages and sorcerers both have always like the lowest health of every character. You know what I don't get is the one time we did that, I got immediately clapped. Just one slap. Just fucking died. Oh, uh, this is the most hilarious fucking shit. Uh, Trials in Tainted Space. It is a adult game. There are two videos of it on my channel. There's tits one and two. There's our two videos. It's relatively adultish. It was when I had my my this headset I'm wearing, not this razor microphone that's really good. My favorite weapon in that is a rocket sledgehammer. It is literally just a sledgehammer with a rocket glued to it. You buy it on Tarkus. It is like 800 credits, and it is my favorite shit, most favorite shit ever. A cunt snake will be slithering by, and it'll be like, oh, a thing, I can attack this! And it'll be like, I want to sink into your flesh! Even though it's literally just a cunt snake, it can't talk, it just wants to parasite on your body. And my character gets a good fucking hit. Um, just imagine, just a little snake with a vagina on its tail. Don't imagine this, YouTube people, because you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll kill me. But uh, it's a little snake, just a little derpy snake with a vagina on its tail on the end of it. And then just a fucking, a space soldier, almost, a space billionaire, with just full armor. So didn't you say you have this on your channel? Yes, I have two videos of this, but like, I tried to not- I'm about to go see. I feel like they're demonetized, no matter what, and like, they're not family friendly whatsoever, but- Oh no, shit. Uh, Bagel's Gone Wild for a real life update? Yeah, that one, where I had four pieces of Bagel. But, um, Baggle. I, I, my, is, is the Gary's Mod uh, video still up? Which one? Uh, the update video. Yeah, the update video is still up. Bro, what were you... I know you were tired during the middle of that. Jeez, I'm subscribed to too many channels. It's just, just Void and Disney Plays Games again. You're part of it. How do you not remember the name? <laughs> uh, but... It's my no, favorite no, no, thing. No, 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 I'm already on the channel. I'm like, oh. I'm just scrolling through. Um. I'll, I'll continue my story while while Dizzy's having a fun time with his mother. Um, it's in Trials and Dates Space. It's my favorite fucking weapon. It's the rocket sledgehammer. Just imagine a normal snake, a normal snake with a vagina on its tail, just a derpy little snake. It's it lifts up its head to attack and just a fucking space billionaire wearing full armor or a business suit or maybe nothing at all because that's what I chose. I don't know, but it's my current game. But I have a big fucking, it's basically Fallout Gatling laser, but fires faster and does way more fucking damage. And I have this rocket sledgehammer. Just like, imagine a space billionaire just golf clubbing this snake into fucking outer space with a rocket sledgehammer. And then because I have the ability to hit twice, just chucking the rocket sledgehammer like a boomerang. And it just destroys that fucking snake into outer space, into atmosphere. That's where it goes, just whoo! It just flies off like Team Rocket. And then somehow the rocket fly, the rocket hammer flies back into their hands, just like, fuck yeah. That's just the most fucking funniest shit ever. I find every interaction I have, 
with natural flora and fauna with that rocket hammer okay, so the most funny thing my, ever yeah uh, mother exploded up in the room um I was, as i was saying was i'm just subscribed to almost six I'm, I'm subscribed to almost 700 different channels yeah i'm not subscribed to 700 channels i'm subscribed to like 70 or 50 i don't know i know i'm subscribed to a lot but not 700 mm. I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> I do it sometimes. Mostly but, uh, just play so games. What's the name of this game you were talking about? Trials and Chains of Space. On the channel, it would be Tits Number One or Tits Number Two. And they have like 30 views because it's tits. You see the words tits, you go, ah, but it's Trials and Tainted Space. It's a very fun game. It's very humorous at sometimes. At sometimes. Bro, at some points. You want to play a game of tits? <laughs> I mean, it's not co-op, but sure. Bro, what's a Okay, so I see all these videos going on your channel called A Casual Something. What's... That's Plotagon. Plotagon. Some of those are funny. I think one of those is funny, and uh, I don't remember which one it is. It's a casual something, of course. There's the, there's the, like, four or five episodes of the two police officers that are interacting with each other. It's a casual patrol or whatever. And then there's there's the one that I made because there's an ongoing thing with that universe. There's me. And there's there was a teacher who drowned, and <laughs> and oh, I and found him, found him. I always make a joke of uh, Mr. Anal Rupture, even though his name is uh, NL Reptoire, and and he drowned and he made a, a clone of Tristan that's completely different from what Tristan actually looks like in Plotagon, and. And I'm always oblivious that it's not Tristan. And I'm just like, ah, yes, this is definitely Tristan. And and my favorite one is where Tristan is dating that clone. And the clone is like, I can't believe I was made after someone so narcissistic as you, you dipshit. And he throws himself out of a window and dies. And there's just, Tristan's just sitting there looking at the table. And he goes, waiter, I'd like a check. Or I'd like my bill. And I find it so funny because it's like a few seconds after you can hear the clone jump out of the window, crash and die on a car, a lady screams and a police car rolls up. And then Tristan's just like, waiter, I'd like my check. And I, <coughs> Jeez, man. I also like, I think um, it's called a casual sitcom. And it's where uh, there's this random lady and me in a restaurant. And... Uh, uh, Pasta linguini, I, I ordered the tortellini. Tortellini, I ordered the pasta linguini. <gasps> Kevin, or whatever I said, and then or Kyle. And then I have the audience in the back, and it's funny. You should watch some of those, they're really funny. You guys should watch some of those too, they're really funny. Sometimes. I didn't think they were too funny at the time, but I, I, I nowadays, I do think they're funny now. Ha ha funny. Ho ho funny. It is very funny. It is very funny. Welcome to the South. Welcome to the South. We got shoe, we got spit, we got ha ha funny. We got ha ha funny. We got them ha ha funny tobaccos. You got the ha ha funny. What's darn in, what, what's damn immigrant like you doing here with your ha ha funnies? Whoa there, we're reaching a topic we shouldn't reach. Whoa there, buddy. No, it is fine. They are simple. Ha ha fun. We don't need any of that here. This is a safe podcast with no ear rape whatsoever. We may get on topics that nobody wants to hear, but sometimes they're funny. I was going to go somewhere funny and then you ear raped and that's mean. No more of that topic. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Um, I, Yo, was, okay, so I got this. Uh, I ended up buying this keyboard which supports working with a switch and xbox one and stuff are you saying you can plug your switch into your keyboard and you can use your keyboard on your switch uh basically i have this little wireless dongle and i plug it into my switch uh ah uh, yes box. and then i can just use mouse and keyboard on switch but it dongles ye i'll give you a dongle i like that i just survived ha ha funny you say the oh, word dong how funny. Oh, how how funny. How how Continue your thing about a, a a desktop keyboard on a on a uh, switch. Think about it. Da, da. I mean I'm sorry, I can't think about it because I have my brain is too small. I can't think. 
You know some I was uh, over the weekend. I also found out I'm surprisingly good at poker. <laughs> uh, is it because you're good at bluffing or is it because you're good at counting cards? It's just my luck. I'm not good at poker. I, I would probably be good at blackjack because I'd be very good at bluffing. Oh, believe me, blackjack. I, ah. I, I'm good at blackjack because it's just a game of 21. Yeah, but then you got to bluff. So people go, oh, I don't know, baby, he's got good numbers. Oh, jeez. I think, um, so as I was playing a game of poker last night, uh, let's see, uh, I had a full flush, just a straight up, not a flush handed to me, dealt to me by uh, the dealer. So, yeah, that happened. I ended up getting a full house, a straight, all that within like the first five matches. Now, is this with friends or an actual casino? Uh, family, like friends place, but it was like four people. I see. Were you betting for real money or betting for like chips that were like- We were, we were chips. Ah, uh, we yes. Chips, but they were worth. <laughs> oh, have you seen um, Ashton's uh, video from two days ago? Which one? W Wish.com random items. Are oh, yeah, the, the fake tongue. I like the fake yeah. tongue. Why is it so stretchy? Because you want your tongue to be stretchy, but you can't have that. Like, our, our human anatomy doesn't let us. So, you know, you just have to go oof and accept that with the fake tongue. Oh, brother, my tongue go past my chin. My tongue don't do that. Just like how my thumb don't go past my uh, my thumb joint. But, bro, my tongue go past my chin because I got a long ass tongue. Yeah, I don't got that. See, I, you'll be good at pleasuring women. I'm not good I at pleasuring women. I already know that, and I've already done it. Shit, you've done something more than I have. God damn it! Wait, How am I gonna live in a world you... now? Are you still the virgin? Yes, I've not lost my V card, fam. How dare oh. you be rude? I'm not being rude. You're asking me a personal question. Jeez, uh, no I didn't, I just asked you a question and you took it to heart. That is very true. This is 2019 though, you gotta, you gotta consider my feelings. How will I feel about your question? Uh... You know what I think you'd enjoy? I think you'd enjoy a very an ice cold Coca-Cola. Poo poo pee pee. A poop -a pee pee. A poop -a pee pee. But um, an ice it's... cold cola, you say? A Coca Cola. Mm. The original recipe that had cocaine in it. Ah oh, man, only three left in stock for this. For what? What are you looking at? Uh, Masters Twenty Five Factory Sealed Booster Box. For Magic: The Gathering. Yeah. I see. See, I don't have a problem with you having a Magic the Gathering addiction. I have a problem with myself having a MechWarrior Online addiction. Bro, we have addictions. Oh, that's right. Oh, um, a new, uh, I think it's June 7th and June 8th is pre-release for Modern Horizon. And then June 14th full release. What's Modern Horizon? It's the new set that's coming out this Oh. Um. In next month. Next month is the new release. No? No, no, no. It's Jule. No. Hold on. No, pre release has already happened. Okay. So it probably in the next five days, full release, right? Let me see. All I know that is on June 16th or 18th is when the Dervish is coming out. And that's when I'm getting like eight new mechs because I have the Dervish pre ordered. And I'm going to come big loads everywhere when I use that dervish because that is yes, a sexy I was like, mech. The pre-release is already happening. In the next five days, it's full release of Modern Horizon. I also I know buying me one of the booster boxes. I also know that uh, I still only hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna take off my headphones and I'm gonna grab my lovely road found card. Uh, I'm gonna just let him do his thing. But yeah, um, I cannot wait to actually uh, do, like, get me my boot box for uh, Modern Horizon. 
The only sad thing though, it's two hundred dollars. Okay, I'm back. I found my card. Oh, you found um what what did um uh... it's, it's the Magic the Gathering uh Wizards of the Coast Tendrils of Corruption. Oh, that's right. Uh, in Modern Horizons, you're guaranteed a full art snow-covered land. I think, if I remember correctly. I don't know what that means. I don't play yeah, Magic the Gathering. Each pack includes a full art snow-covered land. Okay, so you are guaranteed snow-covered lands. I still don't know what that means. Basically, the whole card is covered in cool. snow. No, no, no. Like, I'll, I'll show you a image of a what these lands look like so this is what it means like a full art cover the art um, takes up the whole card this card would be extremely useless to me because i don't have any swamps tundras of corruption deals x damage to target creature and you gain x life where x is the number of swamps you control i don't control any swamps wait. bro you have a magic card Yes, I, I, it was on the road. I found it on the road. It's Wait, Tendrils what, of what Corruption. Card is it? Tendrils of Corruption. I've said it like three times now. Oh, I didn't hear you when you said it. <laughs> tendrils of corru <laughs> Corruption. That's it's from the Wizards of the Coast uh, thing. Tendrils of Corruption, Magic of the Gathering. I'll put it on my Xbox so I can cast Tendrils of Corruption on my Xbox. Onwards, tiny kinder card. That's a card from 2010. Yes. Hold up. This is a really lightweight card. A really powerful friction motor. Ow, my Bro, I'm about to ugh. pull up the price. So I could sell this moderately damaged Tendrils of the Corruption card for like 50% of that price. Like, uh, bro, let's just pull up pricing of that current card. Now, this is the condition of the card. Or is it the power of the card? The condition of the card plays into effect. So oh, it would be like 75%. That's a 2010 core set, Tendrils of Corruption. Ten, tendrils of Corruption deals X damage on target creature. Yes, and I... And you gain X life, where X is the number I, of land. I just wrote Okay, that. so bro, that's a good card for me, because I have a... I don't got no swamps, black fam. White. It's sad. It's, it's a four cost. And this you is... have fifth... Ooh, I can do... So Ooh, I could use What do you that. mean, four cost? Uh, you see that little swamp and then the three beside it? The skull and then the three beside it? Yeah, the skull stands for swamp. But oh. that means four cost. One swamp, three any color. Oh, so it's like Pokemon, but magic. I don't know how to play in Pokemon. <laughs> it's basically the same way, but with elements instead. Oh, well, I mean, they're still colors, but like, they're elements. I mean, I recently got me a Boros aggro deck going on now. I mean, I've never played Pokemon. I just Let's know see. about it. So, Yo, you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh, man? Ha, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Jeez. You get, yeah, I've played yu gi -Oh. You ever had one of those arm things? No, that that's not how we play. Neither have I. <laughs> Bro, that's trash. I never had one of those big arm things that I just put my cards on and go, I'm gonna play I this mean, card, or whatever. I got my player mat right here, what I use for magic. Yeah, I don't have one of those either. I have one card, as I've said 50 times in my whole life. What are you looking at? Oh, I'm just scrolling around. Cause... I'm scrolling around. At hey, the who's speed. seen beans in weird places? <laughs> I was gonna start um, the podcast a lot earlier, but then Dizzy told me to look up beans yeah, in weird places. I got him stuck on beans in weird places. Yeah, beans are in weird places when you look at beards and weird beards and weird. Oh, bro, that's a cute fucking play mat. Beards in ween places. My wiener has a beard. Bro, you need to shave. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. And the last shaver I had, the blades just all came off and tangled in my beard, and they were just absorbed in my flesh. I have some metal in my skin now. Bro, his cock has absorbed. Metal. I, 
maybe maybe i never had a penis maybe i was a girl this whole time and bro and uh, bro. just the thing from outer space attached itself to my crotch formed a penis absorbed whatever i touch it with okay so i found my player mat right now so if you want to see my current player mat uh, i can look at your screen share that nobody else can see and now i can just send you an image and you do it like that that's my oh, current play mat oh that's cool oh yeah Oh, it's really nice. It looks like a Witcher 3 enemy. But, bro, this is like player a player map that you would have. What? Big times. No, I, shut up. <laughs> I wouldn't have that. That's illegal. I'm no. I'm underaged. Which completely goes against exactly what I said in the Gmod update video. Bro, how are you underaged? Mentally. I got the mental age of a six-year-old. Bro, I'm mentally retarded. Yo, I need- hold on, let me- while we're- while we're- while we're- hold on. Mental age- age test. Bro, Let's check this mental just... age test. Bro, if I do- do that, I'm gonna get like a 35. Uh, would it be mymentalage.com? Or would it be arealme.com? Bro, I don't know. I'll take mental age test on my mental age. I just know I act like a child because tacos. Oh yeah, this is what Markiplier took. Uh, a Taco McDonald's. Bolus. McDonald's oh. is disgusting. My McDonald's is disgusting. Oh, that's right. I. Oh, kill a kill. Nice. Uh, a lot what of about fan kill kill? service. Am I right? <laughs> Sweet. There's a Ferrari. Sweet. You find an old shirt in the wardrobe. You, uh... We don't need but no education. We don't need no education. Smedumation. I'll keep it for decorating. Because that's the closest I'll have. The education. The current Prime Minister slash President looks, uh, old. Dongle Trump looks like a fucking carrot, fam. <laughs> Bro, he is a carrot. Yo, he a small hand carrot baby boy. I don't care what anyone says. Hashtag not my president. Oh, I fucking laugh. Yo, who's Dire Straits? Baseball cap looks better forwards. The young me would have said backwards. Yo, I'm a socialist. Actually, I'm an ant. I don't believe in government. Government doesn't need to exist. That's just my opinion. So I'm gonna say socialist. Bro, bro, you say you're Chinese? No, I'm an anarchist. So torch the schools and throw them out of the yeah torch all the schools torch government buildings we don't need government order coffee this mm -hmm. uh, there's 20 mm -hmm. questions mm -hmm. jesus christ mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pension plan is pretty important. Pension plan is pretty important. That's four. P I'm gonna comb the chocolate flake. Yo, Dizzy, what's the best way to become rich? Scam. Wait. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Um. I don't know. Yeah. I agree. But that's not one of the options, so... Uh... Torch the schools? Uh, torching the schools isn't a good way to become rich, that's a good way to become in jail. Yo, there's one question left, oh my god! <laughs> Give me a towel! Give me a towel, robe! No, oh, I'm so sweaty from this! Oh, it's so much stress! Okay, what? What, mm, what do mm, I know? Mm, 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 mm.
All right, my mental age is 36. How? Because you're not arted. And you might be retarded, but don't know. I may be just a tiny bit retarded. Just a little bit, just a little bit of the hard R. Because that's what I consider the hard R. I don't consider the, the N-word card requirement as the hard R. I require... I, the hard R is retarded, if anyone was wondering. I'm sorry if I offended Bro, you, I'm but that's not what it is. Listen, I'm retarded with a low E. Bro, I'm retarded with a backwards capitalization. I mean, I was considering more like, hold on, it's a low, hold on, it's a, what is a low E? Low E. Bro, I'm this. What does low E mean? That's not what it, I, I was thinking more of the note. E note. <laughs> Tuning E. Mid, there's mid E, there's high E, is there no low E? Okay, then I'm retarded with a high E. There we go, that's what, that makes sense. Ooh. You know, someone's Ooh. gonna be offended because we said retarded. You know what? I don't care. I do my videos for my own my own self worth, and also so people can watch them and go, "Ha ha, that was funny." I will definitely watch more of these videos and then never do it. But you know, some of them do. Maybe, maybe some. They like. I like this. Uh, how long has it been? Here is an accurate. Years? Here is an accurate description of someone who watches my videos and doesn't really understand. Just like. Ha ha, yes, that was funny. I will watch some more videos. Excuse me, but that's a little bit too revealing for me, cause uh... that was mm. that, was, that you hear that double click? Yeah, that was the sound of them double clicking out of all the tabs. Like <laughs> Zoe. Did I ever tell you the story about how I dropped a knife on my toe? Have I ever told you the story how I got a knife stuck in my kneecap? I'd like to hear that story more than you want to hear the story about me not dropping a knife <laughs> on my toe. Please do tell, with the last moments of this podcast. Let's just say I was being an idiot and spinning a knife around and then it came off my finger and landed in my knee. You know what, that wasn't that, wasn't that interesting. You should have it explained it in gruesome detail. Brother. Oh yeah, I remember that. You didn't just tell I me before? I let go of the knife. And it legit just... Oh, no, no, I didn't drop the knife. Okay, so I was spinning around, and it came back the other way. So it towards you. It went straight to my knee. It stuck there. I let go of the knife. It's just stuck there. So, in your knee or under your knee? Like, straight up. Into bone. Oh. That's a pretty sharp karambit. Well, it's not that it's sharp, it just has a really pointy tip. No, oh, it's still sharp. It tried to fuck my knee. Well, uh... That was the first ep- uh, wait, wait, hold on, I tried to fuck your knee? Wait a minute, what are you doing? Stay away from my knee, you. It, it tried to fuck your knee. Maybe? You, you literally- Okay, it well, but we can talk- we can talk about this in the courtroom with that grambit on the def hold on, want to be defendant? The one that's it accused. Be... I will be your lawyer because that grambit probably doesn't have money for a lawyer. But anyway, that was the that was the lovely first episode of the Podcast Nation podcast. We always know the Podcast Nation because it's two it's two words. What is it to you? What what what's Podcast Nation made of? Poo poo pee pee. That is true. This podcast is a bunch of urine and fecal matter. But what <laughs> what is podcastination the two words of? Podcast and procrastination. Good job. Everyone applaud Dizzy because he, he uses his brain, unlike a lot of people. But that was the first episode of Podcrastination. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you if you want to watch any more of the videos, uh, there's Dizzy on this channel and there's me on this channel. Dizzy doesn't record because his brain don't do the work with the computer because the computer's big sad. But at some point he's going to record. He could probably record on my Abandonware's website because they let you play some games in their browser. You know. Yeah. I mean, if I do recording, I'm like going to actually have the game. 
You know, I'm just creating a little lump potato person. That's good. Now let's send them out with this lovely restaurant music for 10 hours. Relax, <laughs> instrumental jazz for dinner. Bro, the last 10 hours of this podcast is... Last, uh, one minute, one, one hour and 15 minutes, subtract against 10 hours, there you go. Bro, you still got nine hours of podcast to listen to, guys. All right, bye.